Zion Nation, for God's Nation, where we live by the truth, not by emotions. Brother Josh, we got Brother Block here today. God bless. All right. I got a topic for us today. It's something I've been hearing about, you know, people talking about being in the days of Noah. Talking about we're in the days of Noah right now. We need to prepare to be in the days of Noah. What is the days of Noah? What's the, well, you know? well, Jesus referred to the days of Noah. Um, in Matthew 24, he said before, he's re before he returned, it's going to be like the days of Noah. So God has given us a clue. Mm -hmm. So we need to look into God's word and investigate what was going on in the days of Noah. Because obviously God saw that it was going to be important enough to tell us about it. Mm -hmm. And right before he comes, it's going to be just like that. So well, if we're in the days of Noah, if it is now, mm -hmm. then we are looking for Christ's return very soon. Okay. So okay. it's very important to know when the days of Noah and what happened okay, in the so, days of Noah. All right. So what did happen? Well, if you look at Genesis 6, we see that the sons of God, mm -hmm. which are the angels, came down and saw the daughters of Adam and saw that they were beautiful and took them as wives. And then they gave birth to hybrid giants, half angel, half man giants. I'm talking about these things were abnormal. They grew to tremendous height. Mm -hmm. And if you look at some of the, um, if you do your research, you see some of them even grew to be almost 400 feet tall. And you'd be like, what? I can't even imagine. But yes, 400 feet tall. So hold on, hold on. You tell me, you tell me, angels came down from heaven. Yes. Had sex with the women on earth. Yes, had sex with the women on earth. And these women on earth, they had, they gave birth to giants. Yes, they gave birth to babies that grew to be giants. Okay. They just oh, didn't they stop they growing. Grew. They just kept growing and growing and growing. They were huge, humongous appetite. They was corrupt. They were evil. You know, they caused chaos on earth. These were not God's creation. He never meant for angels to mix with women. This was something just totally um, blasphemy and um, very, um, very unrighteous in God's eye. So, okay, so you're telling me this is the reason for the flood. This was the reason for the flood. Because I remember the story, they were just saying that people were corrupt, but I didn't know it was like this. Yes, they, um, these angels came down and they corrupted the very genetic fabric of all of God's creatures. Man. All the mankind, woman and female, all the animals that walked on the earth, beasts, everything that flew in the air and the sea, every mm -hmm. little insect. They corrupted everything. Fruit, they corrupted everything. They genetically altered everything God created in this natural way. And God had to destroy it because it wasn't in the way he created it. And the only person he saw the genetically DNA perfect and whole, which in the Hebrew is the word Tayyim, was Noah and his family. Okay, so if this all happened, and it says we're in the days of Noah, how do we know? Are we already in it? Was our parents in it? What is it? Is there a start time? Does the Bible say something? Tell us when? What well, in Matthew 24, the same chapter, Jesus says that when you see that fig tree mm -hmm. start to put forth its leaves, you know the time is near. It's even at your front door. Okay. And we know that through the Bible, through doing research, when you look up the word fig tree, we see that Israel is always symbolic of the fig tree. And when Jesus said this, Remember, Israel wasn't even a sovereign nation. They was under the control of Rome. Okay. And they have been controlled by a big world empire right. since Babylon. Okay. Right. So Jesus is saying, when you see Israel become a sovereign nation again, you know the time of Noah is going to start. And that didn't happen until 1947, 1948. Okay. So that's when Israel became a nation. So yes. when that happened, like, what else? was that? They have a parade. What was going on? What, like, was it... I mean, what was the fuss about? Like, well, a lot of things went on. Now, we have the Dead Sea Scrolls being discovered. Oh, yeah. Right. The Dead Sea Scrolls right. contain a lot of books of the Old Testament, the books of the prophet, but it also contain other books that, are, that you do not find in today's Bible, like the Book of Enoch, which the Bible refers to Enoch being a great preacher. You find the Book of Jasher, which means the Book of the Just, which is referred to in the Bible. And, and you also have the Book of Jubilee. Well, you know anything about Jewish history, keeping track of the Jubilees, the dates of the Jubilee is very traditional. It goes back way, way back. You know what I'm saying? So we have to look at these books, and these books go into great details about the giants in the days of Noah. These are books that the Bible referenced to. And the Bible is the canon of truth, which is the standard of truth. So when we see something that is mentioned in the Bible, and is it is talking about, goes into further details about things in the Bible, then we need to take a look at it and consider them. Okay, okay, so... So, <laughs> the Bible talks about these creatures. Yes. Okay, well, you know, what do, they, what do they say about these creatures? Like, like, were they just all just tall or, like, what kind of creatures? Well, the Bible talks about giants. It talks about hybrid creatures. I mean, in Genesis 14 and Deuteronomy 2, you're going to have a whole list of giants. See, people just look at the names 
But you have to research these names in the Hebrew. I mean, some of these names mean like the terrors, mm -hmm. the long naked ones, yeah, that one um, the cave dwellers, the plotters, the perverters. And what God said, wow. utterly destroy these people in the Old Testament. He's not just talking about average people like you and me. He's talking about hybrids, the okay. offspring of the, the of the in, of the um, corrupted relationship, okay. unrighteous relationship between fallen angel and human and man. And he was like. Utterly destroy them. Why? Because these are not his creation. So that's why you have God being so tough. He's not just being evil to just any, you know, any everybody, you know, any average human. These are giants. These are hybrid. These are creatures that he did not create or intended to be created. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. So did... Is that ready to start talking about? Okay. So this stuff sounds like... Advanced technology, giants, this stuff sounds like aliens and Star Wars and crazy things like from the movies. Like, does the Bible talk talk about these things? Like, well, the Bible talks as well, aliens and UFOs, well those those are just other terms for fallen angels okay. and their technology. Oh, the, I mean if you yeah. if you look at um the book of Ezekiel, he describes a a aircraft as a as a cloud, a whirlwind coming out of the north, and it was like burning brass. I mean, how a cloud is the, it has... It's like metal. Uh, yeah. How, how is a cloud metal? He's describing a spacecraft or some wow. futuristic craft yeah, well, in the way he could describe it best. I mean, like, he got like a shiny shit. metal. Like a yeah. Because okay. you understand, yeah. this man is driving an ox and a horse most of the time. So when he <laughs> sees right. something coming out of the sky, he's going to describe yeah, it in the way he knows it. <laughs> right. And we understand throughout the Bible, we hear about God's chariots. His, mm -hmm. his, his throne is on a chariot and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. These are God's spacecraft. And please believe Satan mimic what God has. So please, he has his own spacecraft, and these are technologies and stuff that they were sharing with men, and that's why they have all these pagan religions, and, and all these religions, no matter where you go, Mexico, Egypt, Samaria, China, or India, wherever you go, you have these religions where they have these guys that came down from heaven, mingled with mankind, and taught them great technology, and in return, they sacrificed their kids to them. In return, they did witchcraft because they thought they do these rituals and witchcraft that these 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 gods will give them power. Like when you have the Greek gods, they do the Olympics, and we do that today. That's the pagan tradition. We go out and parade ourselves and do these all these Olympic uh, joints to what? A please the gods. Mm, my Olympics. You know, you even Olympics talk about other sports like baseball, football. You talk about the football gods. Don't anger the football gods yeah, and stuff like yeah, that. Like, what is this stuff? That's pagan stuff. You're right. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we have to look at these things and, and take these things into consideration, especially being Christians. Mm -hmm. The Bible talks about all these things. Okay, you're right. You know. Got to get in that word. We got to get, in, get that in, word. in that word. Okay, so so for people, you know, listen, maybe not, don't get in their word. How do, you know, shouldn't we, if we're in the days of Noah, shouldn't we be seeing it right now? Shouldn't we be seeing, shouldn't these, you know, shouldn't we be seeing what's going on? Should it be outrageous and you know, should we be well, recognizing I mean, these things? I mean, yeah. I mean, well, look at science. They're always talking about the God gene. They're always talking about genetically enhancing man. Uh -huh. You know, trying to get man to be like God. You know, um, they're doing a lot of animal hybrid, mixing animals together. They have glow-in-the-dark cats and all oh, types yes, of weird stuff. Yes, and then we even have, even after when Israel became a nation in the 1950s, you have a um, German scientist by the name of um, Vladimir Demikov who <laughs> actually experimented on making a two-headed dog. So, I mean, this stuff been going on increasingly ever since Israel became a nation. You can just look at the little stuff like cartoons all the way up to the TV shows and movies. Grown-ups watch. It's all about um, aliens and um, werewolves and, and demons and vampires and stuff. And all this demonic stuff that's all based around the culture that was given, passed down through the fallen angels and their offspring. Okay. Okay. And I, I want to go back to this. <clears throat> This uh, this DNA uh, tampering and genetics type thing. You know what this sounds like? It sounds like um, what's that movie? Jurassic Park. Like yeah, like they're trying to bring back like a dinosaur. What's the point? Why everybody messing well, with? I mean, what's the point of messing with blood and trying well, to make crazy? Well, you well, what you also have in um, you know, Jurassic Park. What did they do? They took the bones from the fossils and it was able to extract DNA. Yeah. And from the DNA, they was able to make embryos. Yeah, I remember. They're still doing that. And if believe it or not. If you look at the history of giants, the pictures of giants and documents of giants and hybrid creatures. I mean, the Bible, like I said, the Bible talks about um, 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 hybrid creatures. We can look at uh, the book of um, Isaiah where it talks about the satyrs, which are he-goats. 
or half man or half um half man and half goat. You see that in mythology. Even talks about Lilith, the night demon or vampire, or Incubus, and it is referred to or translated in the um in the um English as the screech owl. Screech owl. But when you translate it in the Hebrew, it's Lilith. A vampire. So you have these things in the Bible. So the Bible is not neglecting you on these things. You just have to do your study. You know, but the thing is, there's other interesting, we talk about um, DNA and um, um, they also, they basically, when they find the bones of these giants today, because you can look throughout history, even America has documented articles about giants' bones being found with six rows, double rows of teeth, six fingers, six toes, um, weird looking skulls. Uh -huh. Um, those have been documented. And what these scientists people do, especially when they come take these bodies away, and I think that they're trying to extract, there has been released that they extracted DNA, and they're trying to recreate these, these giants. I mean, if you go to, they suddenly found the, bone, the body of um, Osiris. They have the body of Gilgamesh, which is Nimrod in the Bible, the first king of Babylon. They said they found his body when they went to the um when we went to war with um Iraq. That's the first thing they did was raid the um the the museum in Baghdad. Oh, what, in the early two thousands? Um yeah, um two thousand three. The first thing we did was raid the um the um, museum of Baghdad and took all the artifacts of like um ancient Babylon and stuff like that. And they said they found the body um they found Gilgamesh tomb. They had the body, it was preserved and they used it and they extracted DNA from it. Jurassic Park. <laughs> so basically like Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Park and that's exactly what they're trying to do they take, they're messing with DNA trying to create the same corruption that took place in the days of Noah remember it's all about one thing trying to be like gods mm. trying to push God out of the equation so man can think he can be like God which is the greatest deception ever mm. and you know they, they're kind of coming back with all these movies like Hercules they got a new movie coming out Hercules yes. like another demi god yeah. another half god half man his father Zeus is the Antichrist. Mm. Remember the Bible said in um, Revelations that um, he talks about the seat of Satan in um, Pergamos. That is Zeus's seat. That's oh, his throne. You're right. You're right. And Hitler had that um, reconstructed in Berlin. And if you even look at Barack Obama when he got a, um, um, reelected in 09, oh, yeah, I remember he that. said his stage like the altar of Zeus. Wow, I did see that. I did see that. That was on live TV. I did see that. Okay. Okay. Um, Another show, a grind nation for God's nation, where we're being led by the truth and not by emotion. This is Brother Block. And God bless. Brother Josh again. Remember, be led by the truth, not by emotion. Get in your word. We're going to have some of these links up for y'all so y'all can uh, get some of these Bible verses so you can, uh, you know, don't listen to us. Go check for yourself. You know, there get you in go. this word. Get in God's we're word. Gonna, we're going to give y'all the references so you can go check for yourself. Um, we got some other links coming for y'all, other Bible studies. Grind nation. Remember, truth, not by emotion. We out. God bless. So long.